Welcome back everybody, I'm C Money, I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination player, and today we're playing <laughs> Progressive Capitals on the Aust New Zealand and Australia Advanced Map. I do apologize for my goofy accent, just figured it would be funny if I started off the game with that. We're playing as the green player out of the fifth position. We're trying to give it our best go. We are, again, in the fifth position, so some of these good spots that I am seeing maybe aren't so good. We'll see where both black and pink go before us. Black does not go on this five, but if we cap here, he could totally roll us down, which is not great. Um, this map is is pretty bonus driven. I've got most of my material on the uh, right side, the eastern side of Australia. Nothing on the western side at all, and only one piece in New Zealand. So I could totally see pink ending up on this west coast bonus uh, or uh, spot here. And honestly, if black rolls me, gives pink the opportunity to roll me right back. Red goes up here on North Island. Interesting spot to be. I could see pink capping, actually, Roxby Downs here, I think, is a very good capital, given the board state that we have uh, with the Blizzards. I don't hate this Birdsville cap. I think that's a decent spot to be for me. I'm not going to be able to hold this plus five, I don't think, on South Queensland, uh, but definitely a possibility. I See, I, the problem is, is this Eastern New South Wales is it's just it's a plus four. It's a very good bonus. If pink doesn't cap on the four here, I think I'm going to take the risk and go for Sydney just because I will get I'll get uh, two extra troops by default plus our starter troops. Pink does go there. So he could he could potentially consider rolling me. Um, I don't know what's down here. I don't have visibility on that. So I'm going to cap here next to the black five. Very risky for me to do, but he should see all of the material near me. Uh, and this way, we actually read, I'm at risk of getting rolled by a bunch of people. That's, it's as simple as that. It's a very, very, very risky capital. Um, because red could roll it, black could roll it, pink could roll it. I'm hoping nobody rolls it. Because it, it's a very good capital later. Hopefully he's just rolling that out. Yes, thank you, black. Absolute legend. Just rolling the material out, and he's going all the way up top. Delightful. All right, so Black's... The, that already tells me... So, we're not on Europe Advanced. So, cap rolls on the first turn are not as beneficial uh, as they can be. And that maneuver by Black tells me that Black's a decent player. We'll see what Red does here. Black, uh, I believe, has this bonus up here already. Red only puts two on cap, so that's probably not going to be conducive to uh, rolling my cap here. Pink will get six to start. He could roll a ten on five. I don't think he will. Oh, now Red puts the rest of his troops up there. Does he roll my cap? He does not. Is he going to play for this bonus? It looks like it. Are we getting some lovely behavior by these opponents? Now, that is a super weak capital. That's just a six. Doesn't continue. I respect the not continuing there. I think that's a smart play by Red. Um, Red's cap is actually, I think, very bad. If Black is capped on either uh, Aurukun or Mount Mulgrave, uh, it's going to make Red's pathing out of that capital very difficult. Pink could take this plus five in the middle of the board on the very first turn, and he might do that. Just one split and then the rest of the material here. We don't know where uh, Blue is capped. Blue is the only player, actually, we don't know where they're capped. Uh, we've got Black narrowed down to one of two territories, and then we've got uh, white and pink and red all visible here. So, I like my prospects for potentially taking this bonus, and uh, we'll definitely hold this one, provided we don't get whacked here. Pink digs into the pocket first. Won't He'll probably remove the kill guard. No, he's going to go over to the left. Maybe he already has that territory. Oh, he's, he's playing it slow. All right, I respect the, the, playing, it, uh, the playing it slow. I'm going to get a little greedy here. Um, we're going to get a little greedy here. I'm going to try to take two bonuses on this first turn. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate that that didn't work out for me, but... I take two bonuses. I really was hoping that three on one would, would pass, but I lost troops before hitting it, didn't I? Yeah, look at how many... I, I lost on the black territory and then lost two on the blue. And then another one on my last roll. 
Six capital with double bonus, though. I think we'll be okay. Um, we'll see if we'll hold a, du a double bonus. That would be a plus seven. Just, I don't expect to hold it long term. White doesn't place anything. Ooh, it loses a troop there and still takes the bonus. Black could potentially hit white here pretty good. Oh, he pulls a seven in from the side. Interesting. So he has this bone. I think he might have both of these bonuses as well. That might have been a double bonus take by uh, by white. Black does have the plus two at the top. And he's going to go for a second bonus himself. But maybe doing it a little bit slowly. Comes down with a 13. Yeah, so black takes two bonuses. He's got a three and a two. The bonuses, as you can see here, on New Zealand and Australia advanced. Uh, both North and South Island are plus fours. Eastern New South Wales and Victoria and Tasmania are plus fours. Those are all the plus fours on the board. Far North Queensland, excuse me, and Arnhem Land and Groot Islands, as well as Kimberley and Central Australia, all plus twos. Top end and Tiwi Islands, as well as Gulf and North Queensland, and then also Western New South Wales. Those are all plus threes. The plus fives are South Australia and South Queensland. And then finally, Greater Western Australia is a plus six if you're able to hold it. This map is 75 territory, or sorry, sorry 72 territories by default. Seven blizzards knocks it down to 65. Uh, I really, really like this capital. This gives me solid access to the right side. And with red's cap where it is, uh, the only point of access down into here outside of capitals is through Tasmania. Which will make the battle over New Zealand. Could it potentially give red and I a permanent trading pocket with each other? We're going to come down this way, assuming nobody aggresses us, and we're going to try not to bring any attention to our um, hold here. Pink digs into the pocket. Yep. So pink will take the plus five in the middle of the board. Uh, I'm going to greed an additional bonus here just to see what we can do. Black saying well played. It is the first turn. There's not much to it. And we will split like that. Fortify this way. So this defends pretty well. Uh, pink could break me in here, but that's why I've taken a separate bonus. We have black behind me. So I need to remove black from back here. A little bit of white over here. White is getting 10. So yeah, white does have the 2 and the 3 up here. They have both of those bonuses. Well played by white. We see a lot of the board, actually. We So I'm assuming blue is on the western side, because black has taken all of this in here. We only see this three of blue. He, I guess he could be behind me in red. Uh, red has taken their bonus, I do believe. And we've got a decent hold here. So not letting red have an exit path is probably going to be my best play. He's actually very card blockable. Uh assuming black's cap i guess it depends on where black's cap is so black actually did not successfully take this bonus i thought for sure that he did but i guess he did not either that or he got broken up in the no because this was a plus three right yeah black did not successfully take this bonus in here interesting so he takes the plus two in the middle of the board instead red getting 10 well played by him so players in our game, the black player, Ali Wildsmith from Cyprus is in the first position. The red player in the second position, General Wynn from the United States. The blue player, the Goat 93 from the United States. The pink player, Pink Lady 69 from Italy. Uh, myself, Grandmaster level player from the United States in the fifth position. And then finally, the white player in the final position, Big G from Canada. Those are the players we have on the board. Red actually fortifies away, so he doesn't want to break me down here. I'm going to be getting, I've got 14 territories, uh, 7, 11... Oh, interesting. Blue is behind me. That is very interesting. So blue is back here. Well, it's a five there. We're gonna. Need, I need to leave this three out in the open for him, because otherwise he's gonna break me. Oh no. That one fortified back to capital. But he split those. It was 18 initially? I could just go take his cap. If pink doesn't hit me here, which pink is definitely going to hit me here. No, does pink not have his bonus? Pink goes to the wet left. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't think we play nice to blue. I think we take blue's cap. Uh, 
Uh, yep. And blue flags. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. It leaves Red the opportunity to come take this from me, but as long as this cap is strong enough, I don't think he's going to try to aggress me too much. Blue flags immediately. And that is three cards, so I could potentially keep him down in here. Or keep him over here. Maybe a little over-aggressive from me, but... I think it was worth it. I just got, what, 17 on that turn to do that? I, I don't think I'm going to have that opportunity. And black and white are fighting. Black is not happy about it either. And white's getting more than him, right? Yeah, white's getting considerably more than him. Black only has this bonus up here. And now, yeah, now black is going to break. Oh, he's got the Dune Dice. I love the look. I think those are the House Atreides Dune Dice. Love those, by the way. Not not sponsored, but if you're interested in some cool dice, go buy that uh, Go buy that pack, uh, the bundle, in the shop, in the Risk app. Red should hopefully just play over here. He only put seven up here, but he is getting ten, so he could put an extra three. Twenty on eleven is not guaranteed. He could actually fail that roll. I think that would be a very, very, very bad play. Um... I rolled a, what, 29 on, or 20, 21 on 6. I had to blast through that 6 there at the start. Yeah, red's not going to aggress me. That's very nice of him. The question is, does pink aggress me? It puts everything here. It, it Maybe red and him are trading? No, okay, he comes down this way. Um, all right, now we get to defend both of our capitals, which is delightful. We'll just take off of this. I'm not even going to... I'm just going to get this up to, like, a 12... And then this, yeah, 24 should be good. So early game aggression a lot of times on maps like this ends up being very useful. We're even going to back this away from Pink. I don't want Pink to think I'm a threat in the slightest to him. He's got a very strong capital. Very Well, I guess their name's Pink Lady. I don't know if they're referring to an apple or they are actually a woman. But um, we'll refer to them as a woman moving forward. So she has got a very great position in the middle of the board. Like the way that they are playing their game. And uh, white, yeah, white. So white didn't actually get broken in the bonus at the top, despite the fact that black could have broken that. So that's interesting that he, that black leaves him with material because now black's just going to, white and black, this is essentially a futile effort by, by the both of these players. I feel bad for the black player because he tried to be passive and just take bonuses within his own region. Uh, yeah, and he got his cap open. I think his cap is probably Mouth Mulgrave, given that it didn't look like white went all the way in there. Um, red not being overly aggressive is nice, but this also means red has pathing out that's not part of a block off of the capital there. So we sh we have kind of stabilized. Uh, I don't want to kill the blue player yet. There also could be some of blue on the left-hand side of the board. Um, so we got the three here, and then obviously got the material by me. Um, black does not get the best dice there. Uh... Yeah, white white's playing a dangerous game here. I you stunt your your growth very very badly um, by repeatedly aggressing a player. And I mean, you see the capitals of myself, of pink, and of red. I can't imagine. You know, white might be rivaling that because he had some decent bonuses to start, but but he's not going to be getting any stronger uh, over the course of these next several turns. Does red red puts everything up there? I I think he's still got material on the left hand side that he's attacking with. He doesn't want to bother me. I don't want to bother him. I'm surprised that pink hasn't made an effort to expand. Take advantage of the war between black and white and go take this bonus in the middle for yourself. Uh, I'm thankful that they haven't hit me. I can also just break them right back if they do. I think that's a big reason why they haven't hit me. Um, so we're just going to take our card here. Let's get this up to a 20. It's up to 35. Delightful. And pull this into capital. Uh, I don't think red can even get over to this one, so I don't need to defend it that heavily. Pink could come get it, but it's not a very good capital. It's actually... I don't know why I said it's not a very good capital. The, the, the blue original blue capital is an absolutely atrocious capital with where it's positioned. Um, I don't hate black's capital here on Mount Mulgrave. It's a little bit hard to play from if you're not able to strongly hold your bonus. Uh, because black isn't capped on Arukun... Again, this is my belief, is that that's where that is. Um... 
Red's cap's not that bad either. White's cap up here on Borolula. Uh, late game is not particularly strong. I feel bad for... I feel so bad for the black player. Um, I honestly think he's just hoping that somebody... One of us other players takes out white. We all have uh, have set in, so I think he's trying to roll white's cap. I would totally be willing to go up there and just take white's cap and let black live. Because there's a point where, like, if you're going to aggress somebody and you just yoink the cap and that's that's what you do, I'm totally, I totally get that play. Just Just go for it, right? Just go, yoink the capital, call it a day. If you constantly remove their bonuses and toy with them and make them angry, I get that it gives you an advantage if they're not able to continue breaking you, but it is, it's kind of sad to watch. It is, well, it's quite sad to watch, actually. So I think what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to be kind of tactical. Okay, red comes down this way. That actually makes the kill on blue a little bit easier. I wonder if pink removed red from the left side. Maybe. I think he was just seeing if the blue kill was available and, and take it himself. I don't want to uh, kill blue until white sets in. Because I don't want to give white extra if I do try to go kill him. It's possible that pink goes up into white here, though. Is he going to hit me? No. It's here. 31. I don't... 31 is not going to be enough to take White's cap. I'm just going to leave that there. I don't want Red to think he can come take the blue kill. That's kind of my thought here. Interesting. Uh, I had a feeling that that was the case. I can't get to that, though. So, I did have a feeling that that was, that was what was happening. We have a Joker. That's big, actually. Um, so, the benefit here is that if Pink tries to go for the blue kill, he probably won't have it. Now, I think Black dies here. I think there's a pretty 100% chance of that. And I probably could have killed black and then maybe bonus that into a kill on white. But I'm hoping that if I leave white alone, they'll go into like pink or, or red. And he's going to take this. And that is probably the end of black right there. No. <gasps> is black alive on the left-hand side? Nope, he's not. <laughs> white killed him. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sets in again off of it. But this way, now if we kill blue, we'll get some solid kickback from that. Yeah, maybe I should have killed black. I, I saw the one fortify up. I'm like, he probably rolled white's cap down. But I just didn't think it was worth... Uh... Potential positional disappointment. Yeah, the red's really softening this blue kill up for me. But also could be softening it up for, for pink if pink goes for it here. He hits it and just sits. Yeah. So that should feed it to me. Um, but just in case. Let's get this up to 55. We're putting this here in case it's on the left hand side. It's not. All right, so free three cards off of that one. Um, and we don't have to use our... Uh, we don't have to use our, our Joker, which is nice. So White's getting 25. Let's see who he goes into. Because White has what? He probably has... Uh, all of these bonuses here, Far North Queensland, Arnhem and Groot Island, 
top end in Tiwi, Kimberley, Central Australia, and Gulf in North Queensland would be my guess is, is what he has. I've been getting, what, 20 each turn, so I'm probably still quite a bit ahead of him. I think he's going to hit me in here. Or does he just take cards over there? Now, I've been hoping that Red would start attacking off this two here if he doesn't truly doesn't have other, any other positions to play off of. So the nice thing about the blue kill is it sets me in, but it puts me right back into the order where I was before. By the way, I didn't run through the settings for this game. We've got Capital Conquest on New Zealand and Australia Advanced. Auto setup, 60 second turn timer, expert level AI if the AI were even doing anything. Neutral a inactivity behavior down here, though. Uh, portals off, uh, alliances off, Falcon Blizzard's on. No rank restrictions, balance, post sites, progressive cards. Uh, oh, red's going into white. Okay. Cool. That's nice. I think this cap is much larger than he was hoping it would be. Um, and now he has no way to get his material back to, to cap. So he's kind of just floating. And he irritated white. Oh, he just found another reasonably strong capital. That's a shame. That is a shame, Red. You have dug yourself, maybe. <laughs> Not the nicest grave in the world. Oh, boy. So those are the settings. Uh, we went through the players, though. And I think Pink's not going to hit me. Like, Pink's not going to break me. He knows what bonuses I have, or, or they know what bonuses I have. Now, I don't hit red here. I'm going to take this bonus over here. My caps will be kind of locked, but... Um, just sit there with that, and then pull this back into capital. Fergus, is that you? Oh, I got the kitty. Oh, we got a cat. Oh, yeah. Catch the big cat. <laughs> For those of you who are new to the channel and have not seen a video with Fergus featured in it, this is Fergus the cat. He is got a little mustache. He's so cute. I love him so much. And a lot of times during games, even games that you probably have seen, he is sitting in my lap or up on the computer uh, up in that direction over to my right, but I'm mirrored here. Oh, White's, uh, White's aggressing me. Well, that's a terrible play. Uh, that's just terrible. <laughs> and, and I have justification to come hit him. He didn't continue, which I respect, but I don't know why he did that in the first place. I think he thought he might have a path into red, uh, which he obviously did not have. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good kitty. <laughs> I like holding Fergus like a little baby. So what I will do is hold him like this. And he normally likes it quite a bit. He stares into my soul with his cute little eyes. Um, but yeah, so I know Pete gives, uh, gives his cat uh, tummy smacks. I give Fergus baby holds and kisses on the head. But he's a good boy. He'll he'll sit in my lap quite a bit and, and hang out with me. Uh, but back to the game of Risk. Uh, oh, well, he just hopped out. But uh, sidetracked here. We're, we're getting 35 trades. We have a set. Uh, so Pink will get the 35. I'll get the 40. Now, he might try to play off of this and, and loop around. No, he's just going to take a card. Yeah, or, or they, uh, her, whatever. Uh, Pink seems like a reasonably intelligent player. I am not going to aggress white. Um, I think that's a mistake to to hit them. Wow, I am if pink's if that's all that pink is holding. Yeah, like you see that we're we're just going to take there and sit. I'm not going to aggress this player any more than I need to. But if Pink's cap is that size, like, we're doing great. We're 70-plus troops higher than them. Um, but I don't I don't re-aggress white there. Because if I re-aggress white, 
white might start coming for me. I want white to commit to red. Red is the person that you have assigned as your enemy. Because they hit you. This game might take a while, though, because of how passive pink has been. So hopefully I can pull this off. I still have... I've kept this red two here specifically if white was to go for the red capital back here. Now the question becomes, what does red do now? Does he play off of the two? Because I, I do have the luxury of, of capital bordering him in two spots. I can just block him here. He should play off of the two. Yeah, he is. But is he going to expose it or is he just going to keep it? Like, is he going to sit now? Because if white knows about it, white's going to remove it and then block him. Yeah, he, he just sits. Pink will hit me here. We'll just have a nice little trading zone. The thing is, I could force him into... This actually makes me lose a troop, which is unfortunate. I can force red up into white, most likely. Because red's also kind of aware of what bonuses I have. Um, my caps are both stronger than red's individual cap. I have a second joker, so that's nice. White's getting 33. Wow. So white has... Greater Western Australia now as well. All of these bonuses over here with two capitals. I'm not particularly concerned about them getting a lot because they are aggressing a bit more than I am. Um, and I've got two strong caps as well. But props to White fighting that battle with Black and, and irritating him enough where he tried to roll down Black's, or White's cap and failed. Who is White going into? Seemed like, what was that, two attacks there? Red will get another one here with the 10. Also on a, a four set. Oh, is he going to... Probably just keeps attacking with the 10. Oh, that might have exposed him to white, depending on where white took the attack there on that last turn, though. I'm trying to remember who knows where my cap is. Like, I don't know if white knows where my cap is. I, I know blue would have, but blue's gone. I think pink knew it was here. Yeah, pink did, black did. Because pink had troops here, black had troops here. I think white was the only one that didn't. Yeah, yeah, red opened himself up to white. So my one one of my caps is equal to what pink has, which is great. Because it will likely mean he's not going to have any avenue to, to take my other one here. Um, I don't want to start a war with white, though. That's my one issue here. And I'm getting close to not really being card blocked, but nobody's hitting me back in these spots that I had like pink was doing earlier. What is white doing over there with that 10? I left the 8 here so he wouldn't re-break me. Maybe he thinks that's my goal is to hit him. I have no goal of that at all. But that also gives me the impression that maybe White is holding a bunch of troops off cap. Which I've intentionally not been doing. I've got the two like little minor blocks just to discourage that kind of behavior. It's interesting that White doesn't remove this 9 here. Maybe he knows that if he removes the 9, it'll lead Red into coming off cap and hitting him. Now if I see Red aggress White, I will help him. Red's been a homie to me all game. Pink has also been a homie to me all game. Pink there. Interesting. So all of us on five cards. Pink sets now. Oh! Is he making a move on white? Are they making a move on white? I should say. Probably not. Uh, no, he, they definitely just broke there. I'm not sure I would have done that, but uh, I'm not them. So, to each their own. 
I'm just gonna make these tens just to match what white's doing. It's a buck twenty-five. I don't want this to be my primary strength capital. Um, and I want to. I don't know. I guess I'll let red attack back this way. Twenty-seven. Yeah, he got broken. By uh, by pink. So does he break pink right back? That's. I don't like that placed on my border. Hopefully that goes to the right. does go to the right. Huh. Now if pink showed me, maybe I should have done it on the last turn and, and gone in there. We've been homies all game, red. Who is he going to betray? He, he didn't have to do that either. He's pointed at me. He's going to hit me. Because Pink's not getting as much, so he'd feel worse if he hit Pink. You could have picked pink. I want to give him like that completely horizontal face for not moving that material out. Good game. I'm not going to kill you, dude. I'm not I'm not a I'm not a psycho. Just give you the spot to hit here. I don't get anything out of hitting him. Because a kill would just cost me too much. Pink broke white again. Which I respect. Yeah, pink definitely just got broken though. White's not going to stand for that. But maybe pink wants white to open his capital up in a different route. I don't know. Or their capital. Again, their name's Pink Lady. I, I'm used to Pink Ladies being an apple type. Um, so. Yeah, Pink got broken. I will help Pink, though. Let's see if Pink attacks twice. I'll go hit White with them. I've got an idea of where all those caps are. And I think Pink might work with me if... How many? Oh, they hit the 15. Okay. Oh, they're going. Yeah, they're going. They're going. Okay. All right, cool. I love it. White was White was kind of a jerk earlier. Did he take a cap too? He didn't take a cap. Um, I'm not gonna set in, but I'll go help. Don't open them up at all. But go help. Because if I show that I'm willing to help, then we'll all work against this guy. Yeah, there it is. Open my capital, goof. Come on. Oh, oopsies. You opened a capital. Hopefully pink works with me here. And maybe even red. But I don't think pink has the pathing path to work with me, unfortunately. 
Unless red's 32 moves. Come on. Everybody against white? Keep going, red. Ah, oh, red didn't keep going. And actually, if he kept it where I think he kept it. Okay, white did re-break pink then. So maybe pink has pathing out of here. Yes, he does. All right, Pink's working with me. I read the board correctly. I'm like, if Pink sees me work with them, they might assist me. Another standard set. We're only getting 77 off these. We're like 100 troops stronger than white minimum right now. These are only 100. Part of me wanted to soften him up to see if red would go take a cap. If he only places troops on one spot. Nah, he perfectly splits them. Fair enough. Has he learned his lesson? Is he just going to stop there? <laughs> oh, Nelly, that's funny. That's really, really funny. Pink and I both just went into him and he's like, all right, I've had enough. I'm good. And that's actually how I think Black needed to play the game against White earlier. Is just just cool your jets. That's fine. I actually had that bonus, which is kind of funny, but it's all right. I'm not concerned. So White's worth what two? That about two ninety. I'm four hundred. A joker I don't want to use. Pink's getting 17. Good for them. Off this way, that makes sense. Don't break me. So I actually managed to hold this bonus up here, which is crazy. I shouldn't have this much board right now, but um, I'll take it. It's fine. I have to go use the bathroom, everybody. I will be right back. I am back. This is delightful. Uh, yeah, white removed all my stuff. I am... Not surprised by that. He also broke pink. So. That's something for sure. You don't get your bonuses back, brother. I'm sorry. You've aggravated the wrong people. Very interesting to do this on a turn where I'm on a set. I'm all right to take, not an L, but a disadvantage play here that gets me this capital up top. It stops. Interesting.
Red could come take one of these caps. He might have just seen that stack, and maybe he'll go take a cap. That would actually be delightful. No. Red's playing so passively from that position. It's going to be very hard to snuff them out and have this game not stalemate. We almost need white to sack into somebody, but now I've been the one irritating white a little bit too much. I need to take a turn off from irritation. Although I think red did just break white. Uh, I think pink probably did it is too, but I'm not going to do it this turn because white's on a set. And I want him to have his anger at pink instead of me just for a turn. I have to use the joker a little bit unfortunate. Uh get this bad boy up to buck 75. 343. We're just below Pink's cap. And we got that whole other one. Yeah, Red broke him too. I think it's very possible. And we get the Joker right back. That's awesome. Thank God, man. I was hoping hoping we'd have that. So we let White hold. And maybe he removes Red. And breaks Pink. Like, I stopped, right? White, I didn't hit you that turn. I didn't come up and break you. But also, it was a no-brainer to not come and break him on a turn where he's got a set and I don't want to open his capitals up to me. Um... So we have an extra 175 cap to basically both red and, and pink that they don't have. I sit as the strongest player on the board. I want to see him roll down red here. I stopped aggressing him. Okay. If he continues breaking me, he's making a fatal error. Yeah, that was a mistake. I, I gave him a turn of of, uh, of good faith, and he violated it. So he's going to lose a cap on this next turn. Because that only went to one capital. Oh, 105. Well, maybe I don't hit him yet. I would love red to get... I'm surprised he didn't blast this red piece. I, I, I Actually, I'm not surprised. I know exactly why he's not doing it, because he doesn't want red's only cards to be in his behind. But he, you could just break him and then card block him. Like, I don't know why... I don't know. I'm very confused by it. Oh, is red going to bot out on us here? That would be intriguing for sure. Have to imagine pink got full broken there. This is the other problem that white, white's... This is it goes back to the thing that I took from the Kill Pete Strategies uh, gameplay is that you can't... Yeah, red bots. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You can't break two players in the same turn because they're both going to be mad at you. He seemingly only broke pink in here and not over here. Pink just opened up the cap. Not thrilled with that, but it might be okay. Let's go low ball slider this bad boy. Two hundred one fifty two. All right. Yeah, brother, with, with red out of the way, dude, I'm, or, or at least bought it out. I'm upset. I liked red. I'm upset that they bought it out, but. You gotta be careful about the fights that you pick here, white player. Because now with red out, not here to potentially scoop up a kill. Gotta be very, very careful. I can work with that. I can absolutely work with that. Unfortunate that red's gone, but this also does actually protect my back uh, a little bit here. And give me extra cards. That's what, one, two, three, four, five, six extra cards back there. Pink 
Pink's getting 13. I wonder if Pink takes their bonus back here. 105. Maybe they'll go take a white cap. Oh, no. He hits... I had this, though. What are you doing? Why'd you do that? Oh, are we trying to card block white? I think maybe that's the idea here. Pink set in early to do that play, though. I'm surprised that pink would have just whacked the red material out of there while red's botted. I don't really understand that play. So I think he just hit pink. Breaks my bonus there. Yeah, maybe he removed red from that spot because he didn't want white to have an extra card later. I'm not really sure, but white's on five cards, so I'm not going to get overboard here. I still, that, I'm trying to understand that maneuver of, of whacking reds off cap stack, but I don't know. I don't know what she was doing there. Like, I'll let Pink hold this. I'm totally fine with that. Splits here? No, I think he's going to bank on me to hold the left side. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. They're going for a card block on white. Understood. And so I will be the distributor up here. Oh, I have to use the Joker again, which is unfortunate. Let's get this one up to 200. Uh, and then this one all the way up to 418 should work. Pink's left their cap exposed this point at this point. I think Pink's at least a master level player would be my guess. I think white is no more than expert. But I do think Pink's a master... I think red was probably intermediate max. Um, usually anybody above intermediate won't bot out this late into a game if they've already committed this much time. Interesting. Yeah, hits pink. Oh, really hits pink. And hits me. Yeah, he's... He's playing this very interestingly. Because he's actually giving Pink a, almost a green light to block him again. Pink should just set up what he just set up just a second time. This cap is exposed, though. If I get my cap opened, I'm, I'm going to... Well, a card block's not as easy on me because I have these cards back here on red. That I can just pull off cap and, and be able to hit. Well, I don't even have to pull off cap. I can just hit off cap and hit it. Pink sets in early. Blocks there. Okay, that makes a lot more sense why they would block there. Hits all of this out underneath. I assume this is them showing me that they will uh, let me hit this three. We're working as a as a duo here. I get why they held up in this spot though. Um, the problem is is that White's gonna have cards off of the cap here. It's into here maybe, and then sets up the block across. It's up with the 93. Oh, oh, it already had that territory. Okay. Wow. 
actually this one's the more susceptible spot. I mean, he still has the hit off of Mount Mulgrave. That's the problem here. And Pink's unfortunate position here is Pink doesn't actually have a way to get up there with their capital. So I'm helping them with the card block, but... Now I think we just trade in here. Yeah, we're just going to trade on Brisbane and St. George here. Makes sense. We have a set. No Joker yet, though. And Pink's committing so much up here that we should remain stronger than them for a considerable amount of time here. Oh, he just fortified in front of the capital. Okay. That's fine. So pink won't be on a set soon. The problem is they won't be able to reposition the, the block here. Which maybe the goal is get themselves whacked so that I have to reposition the block. White sets on four. And he might come knock me out over here. I, I won't be able to reposition that if he does. It's pink first. Probably going to hit both of mine as well. Or just backdoors it. Because that's not going to work. And he just opens up Pink's cap again to, to reset the block. Wow. Pink, I mean, that stinks for Pink. They just lost so much material off of that play. I imagine they're going to go reset it. Trust me on the on the 22 here. Is what they should do. Comes this way. Oh, they didn't. They didn't give me a spot to reposition here. Oh, okay, they did. They did. They did. Gonna knock me out of there and retake it for themselves? No. Okay. This bonus I don't think has been tapped into, though. So. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that there. Set in. This up to 225. This here. I'm going to pull this 10 back into, uh, actually, you know what? Let's put this down here. All right. Uh, I think this is Pink deciding to slate their positioning into second and myself uh, into first and white into third, which is totally fine. Red, unfortunately, bots out. Um, but I think we might have a full block on the white player now. Do we have a set? We don't have a set. Everybody on three cards except for white. And I'm getting the impression that they don't have an attack. Getting 11 troops, so they have two capitals in the plus twos here. Oh, he does have an attack. Oh, he got out. Interesting. Pink kind of messed up the card block there, it seems. Well, White's going to loop around underneath and come break me down here instead. Open up the capital. Oops. I mean, I respect White's last-ditch effort here. I respect White's last-ditch effort here. I wonder if Pink's going to heavier commit to the card block here. And that's why he's looking for the fist bumps.
I think he realized that that uh, Duadgi attacks Davenport. I don't think he had that block on it before. He just had Mount Issa. Or, or she, they. Again, I don't know. Pink Lady, if you ever come across this video, please feel free to let me know how to properly gender you. All right, Pink, how good of a block did you lay down? <laughs> well, he's got a set, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I feel bad because Pink has exhausted so many troops to set this block up. Now, if he comes and opens my cap again, he's a fool. So I think he's, yeah, looping back through. I don't know why you do that. Oh, he just opened up the 500 cap. All right. Unfortunately, now he took off red cards. That's annoying. Is Pink just going to take standard attack here and not try to block? Yeah. Which I get. I don't understand that play. Oh, white just flagged. Uh, Alright, I guess I'm just going to win then. White flagged. I'm not going to beat around the bush here. White, white quit. <laughs> I don't really know what Pink is doing. I don't know that Pink realized that White quit there. I don't have a set right now. Good game. Um, I don't have a set, so I just have to whack the crap out of Pink and make sure I have pathing back to them. Which I do through White on the back door there. Um, and now I got the set, and they can come break whatever they want. They actually gave me... Oh, they're coming back here. They a sack into the cap, probably. I don't know, they just... I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they're just hitting through White's extra material, I guess? I mean, you, you already get second, my good friend. My lovely amigo. Good game. I mean, the game will end. You get second. I hope this player knows that they get second with the with the flags. If they don't, I feel really, really bad. Um, but trade in. Good game. I do have to full kill them because I can't get red scat. Oh. Oops. Uh. <laughs> I forgot I couldn't pass through my own cap. Uh. I'll just take as much of the board as I can then. Well. Even if they have a set, the the game the game is over. It's oh, they have a set. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Come open up my cab. Help me out here, pick. I messed up. Oh man. Yeah, just 
sacked into it. Good game. All right, now we now we finish this. Good game. Well played. All right. So pink gets second with the white flag there. Solid card blocking friend with the pink player. Enjoyed that game uh, quite a bit. I hope you guys did too. Let's check a look. T check a look. Take a look at our ranks. Uh, I said I thought pink was master. All right. White was master. I, I had a more an expert and black was a master as well. Just got kind of uh, aggressed early on. So three master level players. Solid game here. Uh, solid opponents. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about it as well. If you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you right here above my head. Subscribe button in the upper right hand corner. As always, everybody, I have been seeing many. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.